Okay, this next exercise is really an uh, important component of self-control with your dogs. Teaching them to wait patiently for food when it's being offered to them in a bowl. You can also apply this same concept to a toy in your hand uh, so that they're not lunging and, and jumping up to get a toy, teaching them to wait patiently before, as you give it to them. As we're building this up, we really want our dogs to be learning this, leave it in as positive and least frustrating uh, way as possible. So with um, leave it, they can often be really frustrating because they involve a lot of error on the dog's part before they really truly understand what we're asking them to do. Uh, they go for it, we pull it away, they go for it, we pull it away. Here, we're, our goal is going to be, uh, our, here our goal is going to be our dog not feeling the need to make a mistake because we're rewarding them for the good choice before they get to the point where they feel like they need to make a mistake. So in this uh, example, we call this the food bowl leave it game. I am I have a bowl of food uh, that has some kibble and treats in there and I have the same uh, kibble and treats in my other hand that I'm going to be offering to Rue as a reward for waiting as I put the bowl down. So he can be either standing, sitting, or laying down, whatever is your puppy or your dog's default self-control behavior. As long as he's not lunging towards the bowl, I'm going to reward him. So I'm going to lower the bowl a little bit, and if he goes for it, I'm going to pull it back up, but he sits nicely. That's a self-control behavior. I'm going to reward as I lower the bowl. He sits nicely. Yes. There I'm looking for the sit without the getting up to go towards it. And I'm rewarding, if he goes for it, I pull the bowl back up and reward the nice calm sit. He doesn't go for it. Doesn't go for it, I'll reward. Doesn't go for it, I reward with this hand. I'm still rewarding with my left hand until I can get the food all the way on the ground. Okay, get it. And then I release him to have the food from the bowl. As you can see, this is an exercise Rue hasn't done in a very long time, so he was very excited. Oh my gosh, there's the bowl, let me eat it. Um, so be patient with your puppy and your dog if you need to go slowly and pull your bowl back up as they um, go for it, that's perfectly fine. Just take it down a notch so that they can be successful at um, sitting or having some element of self-control and aren't just constantly getting frustrated by not being able to get the ball. So let's, I'll show you one more time. I'm waiting for him to sit or stand quietly. I move the ball. If he stays still or looks back at me, if he goes for it, I pull it back up a little bit. Yes. 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 That was not good. So there, you have to be faster than your dog. He goes for the food. <coughs> My goal is to pull the food back up before he gets his nose in it. I was a little slow there, as you can see. Um, so he got his nose in it. He didn't actually get any of the food. He just put his nose inside. Um, so pulling the bowl away before your puppy gets in there and starts eating the whole thing is important. Yes, I lower. Okay, and at the end, before your puppy gets the bowl, I want you to insert a really clear release cue, a hand point, a verbal cue, something to tell your puppy now it's okay to go and have that. Sit. And of course, as he gets better and better at this game, I'm not going to be rewarding as much from my hand as it goes down. I can put it all the way to the ground. Okay, and make that the one reward for him sitting quietly. But we want to build it up slowly and reward our puppies for good decisions along the way so we're not frustrating them too much um, and making leave it very, we want to make them really fun and positive experience for our dogs. Awesome, good job.